Hello, and thanks for watching. In this video, we'll show you how to set up and prepare the F2000 Direct to Garment printer from Epson. If you have any other questions after watching the video, please visit our website at www.spectraflow.com or call us directly at 415 382 8681. Unpacking the printer is a fairly straightforward process. The F2000 is shipped in a cardboard box on a small pallet. The top of the box can be lifted off the base, providing easy access to the printer. Within the box, you will find two smaller cardboard boxes containing the ink, as well as the other accessories. These include the waste tank, waste tank holder, tubing, manuals, and the standard platen. The printer weighs approximately 180 pounds. Ideally, the printer should be lifted by three individuals, one on each side of the printer and the other supporting the front section. The front section of the printer is locked in place with a small metal clip and should be removed after the printer has been put in place. The platen is simple to install and fits easily into the base of the printer. The F2000 ships with a standard t-shirt platen, but other options are available from Epson. The frame surrounding the platen is used to ensure that the garment is held in place during the printing process. Opening the top panel of the printer, make sure that all of the tape has been removed from the interior and from the print head. Check the left side of the printer interior to ensure that the flush cap and air filter covers are fully engaged as these may have come loose during shipping. Check the right hand side of the printer to make sure that the head cleaning assembly is also correctly seated in the printer. To attach the waste tank, remove the plugs from the back of the printer on both sides of the device. The waste tank tubing is shaped like a Y. Insert each end of the clear plastic tubing into the holes on both sides of the printer as far as it will go. Pull firmly on the tube to ensure that it's properly locked in place. Remove the cap covering the waste tank. Puncture the insert so that the clear plastic tubing will fit into the opening. Insert the tube into the tank and place the tank into the holder. Ensure that the tank is placed below the level of the tubes on the back of the printer. The printer can be configured to print via USB or Ethernet. Both ports are located next to each other on the back of the printer. Remove each of the ink cartridges from the plastic wrapper and shake each cartridge for about 10 seconds before placing them into the printer. Inks are placed on both sides of the printer and slide into the specified slots. You will need to decide if you are going to configure the printer in dual CMYK mode or with the white ink option before placing the inks into the printer. Once all the inks are installed in the printer, you will now be ready to turn on the printer and finish the setup process. When you first power on the printer, you will see the Epson logo and then be presented with menu options to configure the date, time, language, and units of measure. You will next be asked to confirm the operation mode of the printer, either with white ink or dual CMYK mode. If you choose to use the printer with white ink, you will be asked if you want to charge the printer with white ink or cleaning solution. If you think that you will be using white ink at some point in the future, but not immediately, you can choose to prime the printer with cleaning solution and then switch over to white ink at a later time. Remember, once selected, it is not possible to switch between white ink and dual CMYK modes. The printer will now begin charging the inks. This process takes approximately 45 minutes to complete. When the printer has completed the initialization process, run a nozzle check to ensure that the print head is free of clogs and ready for use. To do this, set the platen to P. The nozzle check patterns are printed directly on the plastic platen. Check the resulting print for missing nozzles. These will be in the form of missing lines within the printed grid. It may be helpful to place something behind the nozzle check pattern to help see the results. If you notice clogged nozzles indicated by missing lines in the check pattern, you will need to perform a head cleaning. We generally suggest you try the light cleaning for CMYK colors and start with the medium cleaning for white inks. For optimal print results, the print head should first be aligned before use. To perform the head alignment, set the platen height to the appropriate number based on the material. 
Epson has a list of recommended settings on their web page. To finish the alignment process, look at the printed pattern. Choose the pattern number with the least amount of white space between the lines. Thanks for watching our F2000 setup video. To purchase an F2000 or for other information about this product or any of the other products that we sell, please visit us at our website at www.spectraflow.com.